Hi, I'm Steve from Yoga Gal Support. Welcome to another Exaquantum training video. In this video, I'm going to create some more advanced calculations and talk about how calculations are triggered. So let's get started by creating a new calculation tag. For this demonstration, we'll create a calculation that measures the difference between two tags. This might be useful in a number of situations, such as monitoring the deviation between a set point and an actual process value. Now in this case, I want to know the absolute difference between the two tags. So I'm going to use the VB absolute function. Then I'll just drag the tags into the calculation as before. Now we've created the script, let's test it. When you're testing expressions, it's good to use the full range of values that your tags might store, including zero. OK, so that seems fine. Now let's apply the changes and do a final test by changing the actual source tags. You can notice that when either of the source tags changes, the calculation is triggered and it executes the script. Now we know the calculation works for value, but what about the quality of the source tags? Let's try changing the quality of one of the source tags. The calculation is triggered. And although the value is the same, the quality is now changed to uncertain. Changing the quality of one of the tags to bad, the calculation then also goes to bad. You can notice that the calculation always takes the worst quality of any of its source tags. This may or may not be what we want, so let's improve the calculation to explicitly set the quality. Let's imagine we're only interested in the quality of the process value tag. We can check the quality of the tag using a built-in function. We can also assign a value to the quality property of the tag directly. Notice the syntax for assigning the quality value. Now in the expression tester, we can change the quality and run the test. So 
So that works. The quality of the set point value is now not being taken into account. And we can see now the result. The process value is uncertain, so the deviation stays uncertain. So to summarize this session, we've looked at a calculation with multiple tags, and we've seen that whenever any of the tags change, the calculation is triggered. We've used a standard VB function, and we've looked at setting quality and the syntax to set quality in a calculation. So that's all for this video. Thanks again for watching.